First, I imagine a bed. I imagine a comfortable bed with at least two pillows and a comforter. A fluffy comforter that has some weight to it and is cool to the touch. I imagine the bed is in a room and the room's windows are open. I imagine I opened the windows myself. Yes, of course, the room is my room and I keep the windows open. On the windowsill, there is, I imagine, a candle melted three quarters of the way down its jar. Two pine cones sitting in the scoops of wooden spoons and a small gold bell. I imagine I pick up the bell and ring it and you can hear it from wherever you are. I imagine I am too afraid, afraid to ring the bell even once. There is a calendar on the wall set eternally to April. A record player always spinning Frank Sinatra live at the sands. There is nobody in the room but me. I trot around the bed in front of the open window. I imagine the window looks out into a field of purple and yellow speckled green grass. Once a week, on Sundays, I pick three flowers and put them in a clay vase I made at camp one summer that sits on my desk. I imagine the camp air is not better than here in my room with my bed. I sit on the edge of the bed and fold my underwear into neat piles. Cotton thongs, lace thongs, boy shorts, high-waisted ladies, and weird silky material extra things. <laughs> I say out loud things I want to remember. Vet appointment Monday at noon. Flight Tuesday at 1.30. I don't have to be sorry for choosing myself. It is here where things get complicated, real. Because I have imagined a bed, I must lay in it. I am not sorry for choosing myself, just lonely. And I imagine that's okay. I imagine I'm okay with that. Thank you.